What is good, YouTube? Uh, my name is JD. I uh, hope this thing is on, honestly. A little bit different of a scenery that you guys usually see. Um, I'm actually at the park right now because I need to get out some outside and just spend some time with God. And uh, yeah, so make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button before we get any farther into this video. And a little bit different of an intro to some of these videos that I usually do. Um, for some of you guys that know, I'm a Christian. For those of you who don't know, help somebody or reaches somebody's heart. So uh yeah, uh let's just get into it. So for uh, those of you that are mainly interested though in like the lifting portion, that will be later in the video. I promise you're getting back. But for now, let's focus on the guy. So um so I was reading the other day and I believe it is let me, let me just let me just check real quick. So I was reading the other day in the book of judges, right? So, for those of you that don't know in the book of Judges, there's a story about a man named Gideon, right? So, Gideon is a man called by God and favored by God to lead an army from the army of the Israelites to destroy the Midianites, alright? So, I'm going to give you guys some context and some backstory to this whole thing so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But the more of the story that I'm kind of getting at for uh, this message is you are not where you are, so where you are is not who you are in life, okay? It doesn't matter how small or broken you may feel, God will and still will use you because he loves you and he will use it for his glory. So basically, for those of you that don't know, Gideon is a man who God calls to be a warrior. Now keep in mind in this part of the Bible, Gideon actually works in a wine press at this time. God knows who Gideon is way before Gideon knows who he is. And Gideon is a warrior called by God to lead an army of Israelites to defeat the Midianites. Now, however, God basically calls Gideon to sum this all up, to kill, let me just, I wrote this down so I don't forget, I have it in my notes. So, God calls Gideon with 32,000 Israelites to defeat 135,000 Midianites. But Gideon sees it from the point of where he is, not who he is, okay? So, Gideon sees it as, okay, I'm the weakest in my family, the smallest in my clan, I work in a wine press, what could you possibly do, like, with me for this purpose, God? Well, God sees Gideon for who he really is. Now, to prove to Gideon that he wasn't just calling on him for no reason, he asked Gideon and made him reduce his army to 300 men. Think about that. Not only 32,000 to 100 and something thousand, that's already a big outnumber when God calls him to do something. And God already knows he's going to win. He sh tells Gideon to reduce his army to 300 men. Now, keep, keep in mind, Gideon is always like, me? Like, me? And oftentimes, I'm like that. And so are you guys, I believe, because we're all moral human beings. We don't feel like we live up to the expectation of certain things. But, to get back on track, God calls Gideon and he's like, uh, yeah, I don't really know about that guy. And uh, he asked for proof. So God was like, okay, reduce your army to 300 men. And he did. Now, he went up to the camp with the Midianites, and they won because God was on their side. Because God was bigger than what Gideon thought the problem was. And God is bigger than what you guys think your problem is as well. Because God knew Gideon was not where he was. Because again, you are not where you are. Because where you are is not. God is much bigger than your problems, your sadness, your depression. And I think the biggest part of the story that I kind of grasped was Gideon felt weak. He felt maybe insecure a little bit. He felt like he couldn't live up to the God told him that God had told him to do. And I oftentimes feel like I don't think that is a person. Like, I don't feel I'm worthy enough to do something. I may not be strong enough. Or, you know, I may not be able to do this because of right. Just all kinds of different things. And maybe the you guys will believe that too. But in the book of Judges, God calls this man, which just doesn't even comprehend really 
what God has called him to do. Because keep in mind, like I said, Gideon was working in the wine principles. God knew way before he came to Gideon and said, Hey, you're going to leave the Israelites to defeat the Midianites. God knew way before Gideon did what his true purpose was. Because it was bigger than himself. You guys, I promise you, have a purpose in your life. You have a purpose in your life so far greater than what you can even imagine right now. You don't even understand those of you that may not be here for this, I highly suggest that you start getting closer to God, start praying for truly seeking God's kingdom. And it says that one of the things you can do is be That being said, that is true. Because when you start seeking God and living righteously and you start doing the things He's called you to do, your purpose will already be separate from the pleasure of things. And oftentimes, the true purpose of your life is so much. Because God gives us purpose. God gives us all specific gifts, talents, and abilities. Now, in order for us to let those things come to light, we have to go to God to let Him work through us to shine bright on this world, to let those gifts come true and help others. His purpose, Gideon's purpose, was far greater than himself. And God proved it to him by reducing his army, helping him defeat the Midianites, and really just making him a warrior at the end of the day. And God has called each and every one of us to live a warrior, to live as a warrior and a child of God. That means we should go out and help others follow Jesus. We should go out and help lift up. We should encourage others. We should love one another. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. And I just highly suggest that you guys continue to follow God or start pursuing God with all of your heart, no matter where you are in your life, because where you are is not who you are. And God will show each and every one of you guys your true purpose. As long as you follow him with your whole heart. Seek first his kingdom and all else will be added. And I promise you guys, God loves you. He hears you. He hears your cries. He hears your prayers. And yet, God also listens to your prayers. He knows what you're going to say before you even say it. Because he is the Almighty. He knows beginning, present, past, and future. And sometimes our world finds it comprehend it. And God is so holy and so just. He just, he loves you guys with everything in him. But God doesn't need you. He wants you. He wants your heart. That's what he asks. So I promise you guys, give your heart to the Lord. Seek for his kingdom. And all this will be done. And maybe some of you guys are in Gideon right now. In your life. Maybe you don't do Maybe you do feel too, too small or too big to do something. Maybe you're too scared to start something. Maybe you guys are too worried about what other people are saying about you. Maybe you guys feel like a Gideon. Because you feel like you can't do what you've been called to do because of your circumstances or what you think of yourself. But I just want to let every single one of you guys know. God doesn't see you how you see you. Let me say that again. So you guys can really understand what I'm saying. God does not see you how you see you. God loves you. He cares about you. He wants to help every single one of you. And right now, in this moment, you are God has called you to be one. It doesn't matter who you say you are. It doesn't matter who other people say you are. It matters who God says who you are. It matters what God says about you. So, I love each and every one of you guys and girls. I hope you guys enjoyed um, the little Bible talk study, motivational talk, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. And honestly, I might even do more of these type of intros or outros or even videos like this. Because honestly, I enjoy it. And I feel like God and the Spirit gets to speak through me onto you guys. And that's the whole reason that's why I even make content in the first place. Is to show you guys my life and what I like to do and who I am. And to encourage you guys and uplift you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll get better at talking about these things and not so much rambling as time goes on. But, um... Uh, yeah, I love you guys and girls. Remember, God loves you. Keep your faith, keep your prayer, and keep chasing them goals. So, without further ado, um, make sure you guys follow my other platforms as well. JD Fitness, link down below. And if you guys want to go read about the story of Gideon and get the full entire story and context behind what I was saying, go to the book of Judges in the Bible. And for those of you that don't um, have a certain Bible, I highly suggest you guys get one of these new student Bibles. You can get them on Amazon. They help you study the Bible way so much better, in my opinion, because it just gives a breakdown uh, text after every other chapter and really keeps you staying like really focused on what's happening, not getting so lost. 
like you know the King James version per se. But you guys can look onto that into that on your own time. So uh, yeah, hope this video resonated with somebody or helped somebody. So without further ado, I'm gonna have to head on and eat because I'm literally starving, and we're gonna head some back. And also, those of you that don't know, which I don't think any of you know except for me, because it happened today, uh, I switched memberships. I am now at a different gym. Uh, it's actually a little bit out of my ways from my house. So hopefully all goes well and hopefully the gym made packed. This will be my first workout at this gym. So see you guys there. Peace.